I'm here at the Brambleton Center and Anna is going to show me around. The history here um, dates back to when it was an elementary school, Mount Vernon Elementary. The school closed in 1981 and then became Roanoke County Administration Building. Today, as you see it, it is the Brambleton Recreation Center. So Kaylin, it sounds like you want to try out some classes today, so why don't we go ahead and get you to sign a waiver. If you enjoy the classes that you take today, you're welcome to stop back by the front desk afterwards and sign up. Perfect. I hope you enjoy your classes today. Yes, thank you so much. Bring your leg forward and back. And you can swing the arm too if that feels good for you. Chair yoga is a very nice thing for elderly to do. It helps with the knees. The poses are not so hard on the knees as you age or if you have any challenges physically. Bring one arm across, assist it over. This stretches between your shoulder blade and the spine and back. What is the camaraderie? Oh, we have a lot of fun. We laugh a lot and we enjoy each other's company. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> so they do have classes for everybody. Um, yes, the yoga classes could be geared towards people who are a little bit older, but they also have classes that are geared towards people on the younger side. It looks like the cycle studio is downstairs. Let's go. Hi, Gabby. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. What are you I'm rehearsing for a spin class. Would you like to join? Yes! Yes! Your hands are going to be placed on these bottom bars. Your shoulders are going to be relaxed and your core is going to be engaged. This is proper positioning for position one. This is a nice resistance to start oh, out with. 24. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hard place to start. So then position two, you'll stand it up. Oh no. And that's okay. Yeah, it's a little weird at first. You just want to make sure that your feet are parallel to the ground. Don't point your toes. This is your position three. Then you'll lead me all the way down with these handles. Great. Make sure those arms are basically straight and this is where our position four will be. The nice part about cycling is that it's super low impact and that, you know, if you don't want to strain your muscles, you don't have to. You can just ride or you can push yourself. We have tons of modifications in spin classes. So you really get to pick your ride depending on how you feel today. Four, three, two, one. And then you just hop back up. This is a great way to build muscles in your thighs and your core. Is that my bike? Yes, ma'am. So that bike up there is your bike 10, and that shows you all the things. So your power is how much you're giving off. Your RPMs is how fast you're going. And then your energy is how much energy you're truly putting off. So how high up does the energy go? That's all based on what you can do. So, so, you're, so let's bump up your bike a little bit to a gear 13. While keeping those same RPMs, you'll see that your energy will go up a little bit higher based on the harder that you're pushing yourself. Okay, Gabby, I am very tired, yes. but I do want to come back and visit you for another class. So how often do you teach these classes? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So I teach a six-week course packed with all the good stuff for 45 minutes. It's a nice, clean workout, and then you get to go home and relax, and then I'll see you next week. So I'm here at the Brambleton Center Kitchen, where this may not be my most favorite place of Brambleton Center because I am notoriously known for not being able to cook in my family. Luckily, I have Amy here with me, who is very good at cooking. <laughs> Amy, can you talk a little bit about your background and what you do here at Brambleton Center? I sure can. So my master's is in public health, I, um, and then I also received a certification in nutritional therapy practitioning. Um, we have an upcoming class in February, February, perfect. which would be perfect for you. <laughs> yes. It's an everyday veggie cooking class. Okay. Many people have a, a New Year's resolution yes. to eat more vegetables, uh, so we'll be doing a double date green smoothie. Um, we'll also do an Italian chopped salad and a vegetarian uh, chili. That sounds perfect because I actually don't think I've eaten vegetables since the new year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can come. You're invited. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get your passion for cooking? Um, I think it came from my family, so okay. we're, we're big eaters yeah. <laughs> in the family. <laughs> and then once I took nutrition classes, I, I really wanted to, to try to, to cook a little bit healthier for me and for my family. I think what we really like to focus on is using whole, real foods, so we don't have any diet gimmicks or, or diets of the day. It's really focusing on fruits and vegetables and proteins and healthy fats. Okay, so just between you and me, what's a little secret that you have? Um, so I think the secret for vegetables is having a really good food processor and a really good blender. It saves so much time. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. So the Brambleton Center has a little bit of everything for everyone. They really truly do. They have something for the people who are artistic or who like to cook or who want to be active. They also have things for children as well as people with disabilities. And here are my therapeutic recreation ladies. Hi. What are you all up to? 
We are packing bags for our door prizes for our Valentine's dinner dance. It is on February 13th. It's our 37th annual dance. So we are Therapeutic Recreation Services and we do programs for adults with disabilities. All right, so Devin, what should I put in here? Fun things about this stuff that we have, it's donations. So we get a lot of donations from the community. And at our dance, we also crown a king and queen of hearts. Aww. Yes, <laughs> it's super exciting. There's amazing food and dancing. It's hosted at the Hotel Rono. Adults with disabilities can come and have kind of a second prom opportunity. So we have four different program areas. So we have cultural arts, life skills, wellness and fitness, and outdoors and trips. So we offer a variety of programs in those four categories. As you can see behind us, we have a lot of our artwork from our participants from previous art classes. Um, and it's really cool with these is, you know, we kind of lead it for one specific look, but all of our participants get to individualize it exactly how they would like it. We also have an art factory, which is um, kind of a freestyle artwork where they have rain to really get creative. And do you also do anything for kids? We do, yes. So we have Ace Camp, and Ace Camp is a summer camp for children and youth with disabilities. And we, we like to make it a traditional camp program for children who maybe aren't able to attend a traditional camp setting. So it looks like we're just about ready. How do participants sign up for your all's events? Yeah, so for our adult programs, we do send out a program guide. And they can give us a call at the office. They just have to have a quick, easy assessment, and then they can sign up for whatever they want. And here's a little parting gift for you. Thank you. And now I'll be able to send people who I may know with disabilities to the therapeutic recreation services here at Brambleton. But these services aren't just available for people in the county. They're also available for people in Roanoke City and Salem. So this building is an old school building, which gives it that traditional feel, but it has a lot of really unique classes that you can't really find in other places. It's a really cool mix of traditional, but also modern. Thank you so much. And now I am super excited to sign up for some classes. Thanks, Kaylin. Thank you.